Hey everybody, it is Jason from the Texas Gun Vault 2, and I'm just out here finishing up on the workbench with a range report on the Remington R1 1911. This is the 2012 Gun of the Year for the National Wild Turkey Federation Special Edition. Nice 1911, I have to tell you. I was really kind of impressed. I may like the Remingtons a little bit more than I like the Springfields. Colts still are my favorite, but uh, this one is really nice. Really impressed with it, and uh, it's on loan to the channel from my good friend Jack, who also lent me some ammunition for it. And uh, I'm real happy with how this range report turned out. I got it uploaded. My Patreons can see it now. Two days early, this thing will be released on the 28th of December, I guess. So I got the video all edited and waiting for my son to do the thumbnail. But I got that going. Uh, packed up the old Texas Gun Vault Christmas tree. Packed away all the ornaments. Which I'm telling you, man, did that thing end awesome. I was so happy with how that thing ended and that awesome, amazing message. Uh, let's see. What did you guys get for Christmas? I can tell you what I got. A couple of things related to the channel. Um, I got a couple of Amazon gift cards that I used towards buying a camera bag for all of my camera equipment. So you guys know I shoot on the Canon 80D, and I also shoot on this Sony right here. So this is more of like a vlogging camera. It looks kind of small, but uh, it's pretty awesome. And uh, both the cameras were donated to the channel from my good friend, The Doctor. This is the model ZV-1. And this thing has been pretty darn awesome. I'm really amazed at the focus on this one. You know, when I film videos, sometimes the hardest thing is to get the focus because I'll be sitting back and I can you know, show a, a gun up close. And sometimes, depending on the focus settings, it wants to automatically focus on me or my face, you know, because that's one of the settings, or it can focus on a particular region within the shot. So if I end up moving my head or whatever, it kind of goes a little bit out of focus, or if I don't put the gun right in that spot. And I kind of want to look at the, um, the not the lens, what do they call it? The, uh, <laughs> the screen. I don't know why I couldn't think about that word there for a second. But so my eyes would shift to the side, which I don't like to do in the range of ports. I like to look like I'm looking right at you. So I like to look into the lens. And sometimes I'll, I'll miss the focus on that. But this thing does an amazing, amazing job. And uh, some of these cameras work better at the range. Some of them work better here in the garage. But anyway, I bought a camera bag for all of my camera equipment. And I got a little EDC item. Uh, I had actually asked for this one. And I got one of these new Ridge Minimalist wallets. You know, I still have a wallet that my parents gave me as a Christmas gift years ago. And I've been carrying that for probably five or six years. And I'm definitely gonna, gonna keep it around. But over time, you know, your wallets become like those Seinfeld, like George Costanza wallets where you got like, you know, receipts and all these extra business cards and stuff you don't really need. And I carry that stuff around all the time. But anyway, I asked for one of these Ridge wallets and I, and I got it. And I gotta say, it's pretty awesome. So, you just put in what you need. So I have right now my LTC because actually this little piece of paper here on the back is my temporary driver's license because I just had to renew. And so I'm waiting for the actual one to get here in the mail. But I got my uh, LTC and my bank cards and it has a little room in the back here for some cash. So it's kind of like a money clip. That's kind of nice and neat. And it works well. And I have to say, I really like this. So I might have to do one of those obligatory EDC videos. So that's something that I've really upped my game on this year. 2021 for me was an EDC year, which I've always been, you know, interested in collecting those items, the flashlights and the knives and, and all that kind of stuff. But I never really put it to practical use. And this year, I have. And I'm kind of happy with it all. You know, it's one of those things where it's just like, why in the world did I wait so long? So I, I wanted a Ridge wallet and my family got me one. So I like that. Real minimalist. Fits in your pocket. You don't, you don't even see it. 
pretty awesome. I just can't wait to get rid of this stupid uh, temporary driver's license. I hope my real one gets here in the next week or so. But yeah, so that's what I got there. So that's, I guess, my two channel-related items. A new camera bag and a little EDC minimalist wallet. So what'd you guys get? Did you guys get uh, any guns, ammo, accessories, magazines? I'd like to know. But anyway, I guess that's all I really wanted to say. just want to make a video and uh, thank you all for being subscribers here on the Texas Gun Vault 2. Because you guys uh, seem to really like the content that I make and uh, like to interact with me. And that's uh, it's pretty humbling. It's pretty humbling. Yeah, I'm still a little down from the YouTube demonetization. But uh, I'll get over that. You know, I'm still making videos and uh, trying to adjust some stuff um, on the channel. Uh, I have no strikes. They don't, as I said, they never listed any videos that didn't meet community guidelines. So I don't know what to do. So I've, I've gone back through some of the stuff, some of my really old videos where I like, you know, assembled things and I've removed those, made them all private. So those won't show up on the channel anymore. And those are the ones that normally would be age restricted, you know, or whatever. So I'm hoping that if I adjust that and whenever the time limit is up, it's going to be like a month or so, I can finally appeal or whatever. So I don't really have high hopes, but you never know. You never know. And I'll let you guys uh, know um, what happens, you know, but I'm hearing from other channels uh, like, um, well, I'm trying to think of who else was I, was I, seen today uh, off the top of my head it was like two or three people were talking about how uh they've uploaded videos and they immediately get demonetized and they've been waiting you know a week or so for it to come back and i think that this is just what youtube is doing now and i still think there are good reviewers on youtube that understand and so whenever you appeal you might get a good one you might get a bad one you might just get somebody that just hates guns so who knows? Who knows what the what the future is? Um, I'm now uploading the Rumble. Every video I make is going to go to Rumble, and I'm not getting much over there. And you know, I look at the other content creators that I follow that on are on YouTube and on Rumble, and they don't get much attraction. But I really do think that there's going to have to be an alternative to YouTube. There just is going to have to be. Um. And I think that YouTube is going to do it to itself, not because they censor conservative content or gun content or any of that. I think it's because YouTube is trying to change what made YouTube YouTube. You know, it, it's always been the, you know, kind of express yourself, create your own thing type of platform. And YouTube has always been a money loser for Google. It's always lost money, the money that they have to spend on infrastructure and servers and salaries and all that kind of stuff. It's always been a loser. And I think that YouTube is looking at like Netflix and looking at Hulu and so forth, these other streaming services, and are trying to create content for that. There's always that, I guess, that uh, YouTube premium. I guess it used to be called YouTube Red, but now it's called YouTube. I think it's premium. And... Um, I think that's kind of what they're going to. And if you notice on their main page, they're always promoting the most polished professional content. So uh, usually it's going to be something from like CNN or um, some other type of professional creative uh, place, a television show, a news organization, where the feed used to be, or the main feed if you weren't signed in, would have regular content creators, just regular people that would create some type of viral video. And that's no longer the case. And so I think that's what YouTube is going to. And so I think that there's always going to be an outlet for people to want to do what YouTube originally was. And that is to have regular people create regular content for other regular people. You know, those how-to videos or whatever. And I think YouTube's trying to get away from all that. And I think that's going to be their a downfall. Um, 
I don't know if anything's going to happen overnight. You know, as I said, I've I've kind of invested in Rumble. I said, you know, I've looked at all the options. I've looked at because I only got so much time. You know, so I, I I can't have an Odyssey, a Bit Shoot, a Rumble, a YouTube, a this or that. So I have to go between my time between uh, YouTube and I'm now doing Rumble and I have an Instagram. Okay, and that already takes up a lot of time away from my just regular stuff. So that's kind of where I'm going. And I've looked at those platforms. And I really think that when it comes to an alternative, Rumble right now looks the best. Um, Odyssey and BitChute are just a little bit too <sighs> different. You know, Rumble kind of has a, a layout. Their search feature definitely needs to get a lot better. Um, and their recommendeds need to get a lot better. But I'm sure over time, it will. You know, they're going to figure out the algorithms. They're going to figure out layouts. Uh, they're going to figure out things that work. And I am noticing that there are more people that are moving over there. And the great thing about them is that they don't censor. I mean, they have the ability to censor. You know, if something is obviously over the edge, obscene, or whatever, that's great. That's great. But for like regular, non controversial content, you know, if you're on the right or the left, you can post. You know, and they don't censor. Um, and that's good. And that's good. So, I don't know. It's just a little bit disheartening. You know, it, because you just kind of feel like, you know, you just lose a little wind in your sails. Because the Texas Gun Vault has come to define me and kind of who I am. It's a huge part of me. I spend so many hours, you know, preparing for videos editing videos, filming videos, and so forth. And just to have that little tiny... And I'll tell you guys, I was not making much money at all. It literally was enough for me to buy ammunition, and it was enough for me to buy accessories and things, things that I would want to review. And that was it. And I would still lose money in the end. It was still a money loser. But it just, it just made it palatable. And so... I'll be okay. I guess I'm still kind of in that shock, you know, of it all. Was it the stages of uh, grief, I guess, you know? <laughs> I, I forgot what they were. You know, there's the denial, and then there's the uh, bargaining, I guess, or whatever. So and then there's finally acceptance, I guess. But who knows? Who knows what the future holds? You know, I, uh, I'll i show you something. I think I've shown it. To you in the past. Hold on, I have to move my chair here and go get it off a of, off of a shelf over here. I always have it in the background, but I went through a really difficult time in my life, and a friend of mine, a real close friend at the time, gave me this little stone to carry with me because I was in the deepest, darkest place I had ever been in, and. I felt like everything around me, all my opportunities, everything was gone. I was losing everything. And they gave me this, this little stone, and on it it says, When one door closes, another will open. That's what it is. And so they'll always carry this in my pocket. And it did. It did. And I would pull this little stone out of my pocket during those times and look at it and have hope for the future. And I can tell you that I'm in a better place than I could have ever imagined today. And you just got to be patient. Make good decisions and things will get better. So I definitely think there's a brighter future for the Texas Gun Vault. I appreciate all of the people that signed up for Patreon. I think I got like three extra Patreons and one person that upped their pledge, which is amazing. Um, so I'm, I'm blessed in that category that people like what I do. Um, but uh, yeah, so I think things are going to get better. I just got to have hope because I don't want to go away. And I love what I do. And it's a passion of mine out here promoting the Second Amendment, you know, reviewing awesome guns, bringing positive content to people. And that's another reason why I do this, is I feel drawn to to do it. Because when I was going through that dark time that I was telling you about 
with this little stone. YouTube and watching other people create content, whether that be, you know, gun related stuff or science or history or um, astronomy or politics, the content that I consumed would be like my escape, you know, I would watch it for hours. And uh, a lot of those content creators who have no idea who I am don't realize how they helped me get through a very bad time in my life. And so I hope that when I create content, that people out there, that somebody, you know, might not be having a good day or a good week or a good year, might be going through a really rough time, but just loves guns. It goes, wow, I like the way he presents something. I like his positivity. Man, it's cool that uh, he reviews that gun or sees my, you know, gun question of the week or, you know, whatever, and makes him think and escape what's going on in their life. And then if that's what I do, then it's all worth it. And unfortunately, I'll never know all those stories. But I know how other people helped me, so I hope that I help others. And uh, that's why and another reason why I have to keep doing this. Because I know so many people out there are passionate about guns and just like to see good gun content. Not saying that I make good gun content, because I don't, but uh, I make okay co gun content. <laughs> and who knows, maybe those people going through a bad time watch my video and laugh at me. But that laughter, I guess, brightens their day. So there you go. Just some rambling here in the garage, talking about upcoming content, what I got for Christmas. Tell me what you got for Christmas. And... Uh, the future as I process demonetization, but also am thankful and blessed for all of you guys. So let's see here. If you've made it all the way to the end of this video, which is 17 minutes. Holy moly. Tell you what. Um, use the word hope. Hope. Because that's what it is. Hope. The future is brighter. 2022 is going to be awesome for firearms rights and the Texas gun vault. So hope. If you made it this far, you're awesome. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And thank you for always listening to my garage ramblings. So as always, thanks for watching.